To the high school football tour, only nine more previews to go before we close up shop and turn our attention to the real season that begins next Thursday, technically. Tonight, we're on a stop number 51 as the Calhoun City Wildcats are ready to shut down anyone that gets in their way of a state title return. WCBI 60 Schools in 60 Days is brought to you by Toyota, Let's Go Places, and Emerson Animal Hospital, where your pets are family in West Point. There's arguably been no other school in the area that has been more successful in the postseason than the Calhoun City Wildcats. Winners of 35 playoff games in the last 15 years, head coach Perry Lyles has continued the tradition of power football at City. He expects the winning playoff tradition to continue in 2016 due to a senior class's success from their peewee days. I told them this little team won the state championship when they were in the fifth and sixth grade. Uh, they were the Bears then, I think. And I told them this is their time to do something. I think as you go through Catlin City's history, uh, the kids in the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade think about, well, when I get there, we're going to do this, and this is their time to do it. So I did. We talked about that today. It will be a new team on the field in 2016 at Calhoun City, but don't think for a second that new means average or even above average. The Wildcats are still loaded in spots all over the field, and they expect to be just as talented as last season, despite the losses on both sides of the ball. We just have to work harder because it's big shoes to fill, so we just got to work harder than we did the year before. I think this year's team will be a lot bigger up front, and that will help us a lot. And we have a lot more backs. I think this team has a lot of running backs. And uh, Brighton, we sort of stuck with his abilities. This year, I think we'll be uh, less predictable, and I think that'll help us. But there is the one name to replace that will be most difficult. Brighton Sykes was an all state star for the Wildcats, and he joins a strong senior class that departs Calhoun City. Many may think that losing those big name players will hurt the Cats and cause them to fall. But that's exactly what the team wants you to think while they turn their sights on a state title return. They think because we don't have Brighton or Jalen, we're not going to be as good as we was last year. But we have a young group, but we but we working hard, and I believe that we're going to make it, make it the state championship and win it this year. It just fires up because you know they think we're going to be good without Brighton or Jalen Thomas, but we, we we just want to show who we are, you know. Everybody thinks we're going to be an underdog, and that's just. The lower you are, the higher you can go up. I've done a lot in my uh, three years here at Calhoun City. One thing I have done is one state, state championship. So I'm going to get a ring before I leave. Calhoun City will start the season at home versus Coffeeville. Then the rugged rematch with Houston will finish up the month of August. Turning up with the Wildcats in the high school football tour, Robbie Donahoe, WCBI Sports. Wildcats on three. One, two, three. Wildcats. 60 schools in 60 days with Calhoun City High School was brought to you by Calhoun Banking Center.